Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the Step Edit page on Yamaha Arranger keyboards. Step Edit is a powerful tool for precise micro-level editing when you're creating a style or working with MIDI files. Since it's a fairly detailed topic, I've split it into two parts. In this video, I'll show you how to open the Step Edit page from the Style Creator, explain the different columns and what each value represents, and demonstrate how to set the position and duration of notes. In the next video, we'll dive into more advanced features like editing note values and velocity, copying and pasting notes, inserting new ones, managing control messages, and using the step recorder. I will use the step editor in the style creator for this video. It is available in the MIDI recorder or the sequencer and the multi-pad creator as well. They are the same, but the sequencer mode has some extra features. Let us go to the style creator. If you are new to the style creator, I would recommend watching the previous style creation videos I have made. I will give the link to the playlist with the style creation videos in the description if you want to watch them. This is a style I already made. I will use this style for this video. Press this step edit icon. It will open the step edit page for the current activated track. The Rhythm 2 track is the active track now. It has the red highlight. Now we are in the Step Edit page for the Rhythm 2 track. These are the notes already recorded in this track. Each row is one individual note. The columns have different parameters of each note. We can move to different items using these arrows. It is not just notes which would be listed here. There are other data like pitch bend wheel values, MIDI control change data, etc. I will explain those in the next video. For now, let us focus on notes. To make it simple, we can say that this is a table format view of the music recorded in this track. There are different methods to represent the music data like the staff notation, the piano roll view, etc. This step edit view or the events view is another method for representing the data in the track. The data here is arranged as a multi-column table. Each row is an event. The most common type of event is a note. What you see right now are the notes recorded in this track. They are arranged from top to bottom. The top one is the first note and the next one is just below it. The columns here are the different properties of each note like the position, note value, velocity, duration, etc. To exit from the step edit page, press the step edit icon again. Not this exit button. Pressing this button will exit from the style creator. To open the step editor for another track, long press the track to activate it. Now pressing the step edit icon will open this track's contents in the step edit page. This is the phrase one track. The first note in this track is highlighted now. I can move to different columns representing different parameters or properties of this note. When you write music, each note should have some properties like the duration, its position, what note it is, and the volume level of the note. Here in this step, edit view, the first column shows the position of the note. That means in which bar, which beat, and where in the beat. This has three sub-columns. This is the bar number, this is the beat number in the bar, and this is the position within the beat. This column shows what type of data is this. Here it is note. As I said earlier, we can have other type of events like pitch bend, MIDI CC messages, etc. This column shows which note it is. C1 means note C of the first octave. G2 is G from the second octave. This is the volume level or the velocity of the note. This section is the duration. It is similar to the first column, but there will be no bar numbers. It will be represented in number of beats and its subunits. I have exported this as a MIDI file and opened in a DAW. It can show these notes in different views. This is the staff notation view. This is how it is in a piano roll view. The notes look a little complex because of the duration of the notes. Let us focus on the position for now. I will make it simplified and this is how it will look like. This is first bar, this is second, third, and fourth. In the first bar, this note is at the starting position of the first beat. 
That is represented by this value. This note is at the starting of the second beat. Now if we want to move it to the middle of the first and second beat, it will look like this in the staff and the piano views. In the step edit view on the keyboard, we can do it by setting the subunit value here. This value is the PPQ of a beat. Here for Yamaha arrangers, the PP PPQ is 1920. That means one full beat has 1920 subunits. This value would be different on other keyboard brands and different DAW softwares. I will remove some of the other tracks so that the edits we perform in this guitar track are clearly audible. To bring the second note to the exact middle of the first and second beats as in the staff and piano view, we need to set this to half of 1920. That is 960. This is how it plays after the edit. I am not updating the duration. We are working on just the starting position now. If it is set to 480, then this will be the result. So in the step edit page, 1920 means a quarter note or a crotchet. When we add one flag to it, it is half or a quaver, it can be represented in multiples of 960. With two flags, one quaver is divided into four. So here we can use multiples of 480 to represent it. That means position zero, 480, 960, and 1440. With one more flag, it would be a 30 second note and it can be represented with multiples of 240. So zero, 240, 480, 720, 960, 1200, 1440, 1680 are the positions for this. Using step edit, you can divide the notes even further. I am setting it back to the second beat. Now let us try updating the duration, setting this to zero. Now the second note is not played. It is because the duration is zero. I am setting it to one beat. Now it is 960. This means the duration is a quaver or eighth note. The note is getting stopped after playing for a half beat. When I increase the duration, it is getting extended. This is the note size and position setting. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. In the next part, we'll continue exploring the step edit features, including how to edit notes, adjust velocity, insert and copy notes, work with control messages, and using the step record mode. See you in the next video. Bye for now.